Hi there, RC Girl here. Today I'm back with a video about how to vinyl wrap your RC car body. This is part of my Road to Axial Fest series. This is my Jeep Cherokee SCX-10 II body. Typically I've done paint jobs where you paint the interior of the body, but with this method you actually apply vinyl decals to the exterior of the Lexan body. I've actually never done this before, but if you're seeing this video, it must have been good enough to show you guys. So if you guys wanna see how you vinyl wrap your RC car body, stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Here you're gonna find RC reviews, tips and tricks, run videos, flight videos, and other things related to RC. So consider subscribing if you guys wanna see more in the future. SOR, or Stuck on Racing, sent me the Jeep Cherokee Overlander wrap. I had them do a couple modifications. They actually do a ton of different designs that fit a lot of different RC car bodies. So if you guys don't have a Jeep Cherokee, I'll put a link in the description box below and you can check out all the different body types that their vinyl wraps will support. They also do custom orders. I had them put an RC Girl logo on the hood. I'm gonna go over all the supplies that you guys need to do the vinyl body wrapping. So you're obviously gonna need a Lexan RC body. When you get the vinyl wrap, it comes with an instruction sheet. They recommend painting the exterior black. It allows the vinyl to adhere better. It also gives that realistic panel gap look so you can see through the black behind the vinyl. I like the Tamiya, the PS line. I got PS black and PS 55 flat clear. Before I apply the vinyl panels, I'm gonna spray a little bit of soapy water that helps you kind of move the panels around before you tack it down. Then I have a squeegee. This is just a squeegee I got from like a cell phone screen protector kit. So this should do the job. Otherwise you can just use your hands. They recommend using a hair dryer. It's gonna help with adhesion of the vinyl, making sure it's sticking to the body. And also if you have any stretching, it's gonna help tighten the vinyl back into its original shape. Not a heat gun. Hair dryer is gonna be a little bit lower heat and especially if you have the matte finish, they make it in matte or glossy. If you have the matte finish, the heat gun is gonna get rid of the matte finish look. So make sure that you're using low heat on your hair dryer. My SCX-10 II comes with the roof rack and all these scaled body details like the front grill and everything. So after we do the vinyl install, I'm gonna make sure this body is decked out with all the scale goodies. Lastly, lastly, your window masks. These are gonna go on the exterior since you're painting the exterior of the body if you want your windows to be see-through. I do want my windows to be see-through. Before we take it outside to paint it, to prep the body, you're gonna to have to remove the overspray film and then you're gonna to wanna to wash it with some soapy water. That's gonna get rid of the mold release and also any fingerprints and clean the body before you paint it. Let's take it away. I actually didn't film it because it's pretty straightforward and I also have another video about how to paint your Lexan body. I'll link it up here. Same concept, except you're painting the exterior. A couple coats of black, a couple coats of the flat clear, and let it dry overnight. Now we're good to go. All right, let's zoom on in. So I pulled up what it should look like, and it looks like they have some gap spacing here. They also recommend starting with the door panels on each side and then doing the hood and the roof last. So I'm gonna spray the body with the soapy water. I'd also recommend spraying the sticky side of the vinyl with the soapy water as well. That's really gonna help. So with this first one, I took a really long time to line things up, making sure that I had the right spacing on all the sides. And it just took a little bit of uh, finagling to get it just right. Using the squeegee, I could get the really thin part of the vinyl into a nice straight line. I think that's one of the most important things, is just making sure all the lines are straight. And if you're using the soapy water, you can actually detach it and reposition it. So I had to do that a couple times with this first panel when I was just getting the hang of things. And then once you have it lined up, take your squeegee and make sure that all the water is removed from it and use your hairdryer. Then squeegee the last of the water out and make sure that everything is nice and tacked down before you apply your next panel. So now I'm gonna spray it again and grab my next panel. And this one I didn't wanna have a gap. I wanted it to be like looking like it was one panel. Alrighty, now I have almost a complete side. And what I'm learning is that you wanna make sure to get all of the gap spacing between the panels very even. I think that's gonna be the most important thing doing this going forward. And also some of the seams here, I wanted this to be one complete panel. So you're gonna to wanna to take the squeegee and the heat and make sure that you're getting into the grooves. Another thing I had to do is trim part of the bottom piece here. So I took this off and I used a straight edge and I used an X-Acto blade and I just cut a little piece of it off and then reapplied it back to the body. 
Also, I'm not going to worry too much about the black spacing around the windows. I have decals that's going to go over this that are outlined in black, so that'll look really clean afterwards. Okay, now let's do the other side. Alrighty, everything is on. I'm really satisfied with how this turned out. It was a little bit tedious. It took about five or six hours to get everything complete. Lots of lining things up, and I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I wanted everything to be perfect, but I think it looks really good. The soapy water is definitely a must. And then I didn't really have the right length of this piece here, but I actually like the way it looks without it, so I'm gonna keep it that way. And then you can see that there's a few remaining air bubbles, so I have to go with an X-Acto blade and pop those and apply a little bit more heat to tack it down. But otherwise, I really like how this turned out. You apply the top last, and then a couple corners here, there's a little bit of bulging, but I think once I get the light covers, I'm getting some from Night Customs, you won't really notice that too much. Most of the seams are looking pretty clean. I would say the best piece of advice is making sure that all your panels are aligned and any of the gaps are evenly spaced. I've started to apply the window decals which fit nicely in the cutouts and also some of the details like the Cherokee emblem here. Okay, now that we have our wrap installed, we get to do the fun part, installing all the body accessories. So I gotta put on my roof rack, gotta put on the front grill, door handles, some wipers and other things. So let's take it away. This is starting to look really good. I got the side mirrors on. I got my door handles, the little back hatch thing. And actually RC Four Wheel Drive sent me a bunch of goodies. I'm gonna show you guys in a future video for sure. A winch and rock sliders and bumpers. But what I'm gonna put on the body now is these rear window guards. These are actually metal, it's pretty cool. And there's two different styles. They have style A and style B. This one seemed cooler to me, so. Yeah, let's install these. These have gotta be the world's tiniest screws. They're so tiny. This thing is starting to look super sick. One thing I do need though is a better bumper. This is just the stock plastic bumper that came with the kit. And in the stuff that RC Four Wheel Drive sent me, they sent me this metal tough armor bumper. So it has a winch mount and it mounts directly to the chassis. It's really nice and heavy. So let's install that real quick and we should be almost ready to go. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have a bunch more coming in the series. I stopped and install my Tekken Motor ESC combo, my MyTrick RC Light Kit, install and set up the RC four wheel drive winch. And of course I'm taking this thing to Axial Fest. So I hope to see you guys there. Make sure to like and subscribe as always. I'll see you later.